what is going on folks welcome to the YouTube channel I'm extremely excited for today's video because I'm gonna be showing you guys a tip I have never seen on YouTube before but before we get started you guys already know the comment of the day is popping up down below and also the giveaway winner of the baitcaster rod and reel combo the worms and the hooks that I was giving away from a video a few days ago so congratulations if you guys want to be in next videos comment of the day make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and the bell to join the NARMY and leave a comment down below on this video but guys today we are here at Bass Pro Shops. I'm going to be showing you guys my secret $6 tackle box. That is no lie. I carry this tackle box everywhere. If I'm out on the boat, it's in my fishing bag. It's always on me because you can always catch fish with the secret tackle box. Guys, you can catch fish year round on this thing. Big or small, there's multiple different colors that come in this secret tackle box that I'm about to show you guys. And you can rig it in so many different ways and you can catch literally multi-species. It is the best fishing tip and it's never been said before on YouTube. And I don't want to spoil too much, so we're going to go ahead and get into the store over there and show you guys what I'm talking about. Oh my guys. Guys, here it is. There is only one left because it is such a good deal. The Sticko Kit for only $6.29. This comes with 36 Cinco's. Check this out, guys. It has pink, it has like a black sapphire color, a watermelon red color, and also like this green pumpkin color. And on the back, it comes with four more different colors to try out. All of these are awesome colors. What I absolutely love about this kit, guys, besides it is really good for budget fishing, is it comes with eight different colors. So no matter what lake you're gonna go to, at least one color in this pack is going to work for you. Also, if you are a new fisherman, you can buy this pack and figure out which color is your favorite, depending on which ponds and lakes you fish. So budget fishing with Norm coming here with some fire saving tips. So see how this is only $6.29 for 36 pack and you get all of these different colors? If you come over here to the Sticko Kit, there is 30 pieces in this one, not 36, and it is $10 for the same exact thing, and you don't get as many colors. So, if you come over here for $8.79, you only get 10 Cinco's. That is more expensive than 36 Cinco's, and you only get one color too. So if I asked you guys what the cheapest Cinco's you think are, you would probably say, Yum Dingers, but I'm about to change your mind. Look at this, for $2.99, you get an eight pack of Yum Dingers. Multiply $2.99 by two, that is $6. You get 16 Cinco's for $6, but over here you get 36 Cinco's for $6. Guys, the Cinco is something I will have on my boat year round. It is always the thing that you can go to if you really need to catch fish. You can rig it in so many different ways too, which I absolutely love. You can wacky rig it, you can Texas rig it without a weight, and you can Texas rig it with a weight. You guys can also put this on Ned rigs, shaky rigs. It is endless what you guys can do with this. And for only $6 to have 36 Cinco's to choose from, Guys, that's a deal. All right, folks, we are outside of Bass Pro Shops. Before we go fishing, I wanted to show you guys a budget fishing tip on how to organize your tackle. So, we have the plastic kit of Cinco's here. So this kind of just opens up from the side and these Cinco's sit in a little plastic tray. I promise you they're gonna get everywhere. So what I use to organize my Cinco is this tackle box. So if you were to go inside and buy a tackle box at Bass Pro Shops, it's probably gonna be about $12, $13. But what I do is I go to Hobby Lobby. You can go to Home Goods, whatever like type of store you have around you that's similar to that. And girls use these tackle boxes to organize makeup and bracelets and all that stuff. I don't know why they use it for that, but they sell them at those home goods stores for like one or two dollars. So you can organize all of your tackle for extremely cheap. So little budget fishing tip there, but we are about to go put these Cinco's in the car because we are gonna go catch some big bass on these things, maybe some small bass. I don't know, you can catch anything on these Cinco's. We're gonna try out some different colors, rig them in different ways. There's literally endless opportunities to use these things, so let's go. Oh man. All right, guys, I'm on the phone with Hunter right now. We're talking about a fishing trip. There is a massive snake down there, like a big. All right, I'm just gonna step over here. Oh, he's moving. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Don't mind me, Mr. Snake. I don't know if you guys saw that, but snakes are my least favorite animal, and there was one chilling like right there, and I walked up on that log, and he's zooted off. Oh man, I hate snakes. I hate, hate, hate snakes. Hate them. But we are here at the pond. We have made it to the fishing spot though, so that is good. I love these Cinco's because I can even throw them on a bait caster because they are like the heaviest Cinco's. So you can cast them really far, and they're heavy enough to throw on a bait caster, so you don't have to throw them on a spinning reel. 
Even though I probably would throw them on a spinning reel if I wasn't a big goober. Oh, I got one, guys. First cast. Is he off? No, he's still on. Look at that, guys. What did I tell you? What did I say? The Cinco's are absolutely amazing. Look at that. We'll catch the smallest fish in the lake, but they still catch fish. That's the cool thing about Cinco's is I've caught so many massive fish on the Cinco before, but I also can catch a ton of small fish. So any fish will really go for a Cinco. Oh yeah, bass number one on the watermelon seed. Cinco with the three odd EWG hook. I'm keeping my eye on you, Snake. Don't you dare try to slither up on my business. Also, there is a death pit right here, so the audio is probably really bad. It's just a ton of water falling into like a 20 foot drop. Hopefully I don't set the hook too hard and fall in there because that would be uh, not very good. You guys probably won't be seeing videos for quite a while on the channel if that happened. Color number two, I don't know exactly the name of this color, but it's super cool. It has like a green pumpkin on the bottom and then on the top it has like a blue sapphire color. I don't know the technical name, but I'm telling you guys, this is technically a really cool color. Oh, one just missed it. Oh my, dude. Oh, he got it. He got it, guys. He missed the top water. Fish number two on the Bass Pro Cinco's, guys. Another squeaker. You can literally catch any bass on this thing. Tell me you guys do not want to catch small, little, healthy bass like that. That is awesome. You could probably catch bluegill on these Cinco's, guys. He missed it top water. I was reeling it on top, and he just came and nailed it. So that was on this new like green pumpkin color on the bottom and like this blue color on the top. He missed it, came for it once again. I'm telling you guys, the Cinco's will always catch fish. It is the middle of the day. It's like 100 degrees outside and fish are still nailing this thing. We are tying on a third color just to show you guys that you can catch fish on basically every single color that comes in this kit. They don't give you garbage colors. This is called black sapphire. It's very similar to June bug. It just has darker blue flakes in it than June bug does. I love this color for dirty water. This water is pretty dirty. So I think we should have good luck with this. Oh, got one. There we go, guys. Fish number three on the black and blue Cinco, the Sapphire. Hit it top water. I was reeling it over some vegetation and this guy came up for it. Oh yeah. Oh, check that out, guys. A little bit of an upgrade. I mean, not much of that. The fish are really healthy out here. Have some beautiful colors on them. That is so much fun. We are about to leave the pond. We're chilling here with Henry. Henry's just hanging out, but we do have to go, unfortunately, because I have to get my tires rotated. I mean, look at this. So this is what my front tires look like. And this is what my back tires look like. That is not good. It is hot outside. Oh my goodness. Where am I? Why is it dark? Oh, there I am. What's going on, folks? Okay, so this is going to be the end of the video. Unfortunately, I have some big bass catches that are going to play at the end of the video from yesterday that we caught on the Bass Pro Cinco's, if that makes any sense. But I have to go get these tires rotated because we are going on a saltwater fishing trip. I have to drive like four hours. We're going to go fishing for like redfish and snook. So if you guys do not want to miss that, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can join the NARMY and you won't miss that video. But I don't want my tires to explode, so that's kind of important. We only had like 10 minutes to fish today, guys, and we ended up catching three fish in 10 minutes. It is... Let's see, it is 97 degrees out right now. In the middle of the day, super hot, not a single cloud in the sky, and we still managed to catch three fish. Like the worst fishing conditions, and the Cinco still did it. So I don't want this just to seem like a video idea that I had, and I was like, oh, this could work. Like this is actually something that I've been using since I started fishing, and I want as many of you guys to know about it as possible because I love when we save money and we catch big fish. That is the whole goal at the end of the day. So I gotta go get these tires rotated, guys. I hope you enjoy these big fish catches. Also. Leave a like. If we can get like 250 likes, that would be absolutely legitness. And also, leave a comment down below if you have any questions that I did not cover about Cinco's in this video. I'll try my best to get to them. And also, if you guys have any tips about Cinco fishing that I did not cover, make sure to leave them down below in the comments as well. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I will see you. Enjoy the big bass catches. Peace. Ooh. There you go. Is that a nicer one? It's probably a nicer one, dude. Feels good. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice, nice fish, Hunter. Guys, Hunter has one on the Cinco, guys. All right, here. Reel him up. Be careful. It's a big girl. I'll come, I'll go down and grab her. On the Cinco, guys. Oh, shoot, my line might be in the way. <laughs> nice one, dude. Oh, that's a big fish, bro. Get her. Nice bass dude on the Bass Wait, Pro Cinco. I'll take it. All right, Hunter, dude, show her off to the camera really quick. That's a nice three pounder there not on bad, the Cinco. Bad, Budget fishing, she baby. <laughs> Clean release. Splash zone. <laughs>